Good day. Welcome to Edifice TV YouTube channel. In this lesson, we'll be discussing science and development, solar system in particular. Jim Asikula Adio is my name. After this lesson, you should be able to define solar system. You should be able to say one or two things about eclipse and state the types. You should also be able to define season and state various forms of season that we have in a year. Let's proceed. Introduction. Solar system can be defined as the gravitationally bound system of the sun and the object that orbit it, either directly or indirectly. It is a system that is made up of the sun itself, the planet, which are broadly any relatively large natural body that revolve around the sun. And you recall that we have eight popular planets, which are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and so on, which, which Earth, Earth that we are living in is one of the, those planets. Also, we have the satellite that revolve around the planet, but not all planets as satellites. We also have other heavenly bodies, such as asteroids, comets, and meteors. Solar means sun and it provides heat and light for planets including the earth we are, that we are living in let's proceed the earth earth is the third planet from the sun and the only astronomy, astronomical object known to our life that is to support life the earth seems to be the only planet that supports life because it has three main substances one oxygen in the atmosphere, water, and energy from the sun. The Earth rotates on its own axis once in 24 hours and revolves around the sun in 365.25 days, that is a year, while the moon is rotating and revolving around the Earth at the same time. The moon. The moon is an astronomical body that orbits the earth as its own natural satellite. It is the fifth largest satellite in the solar system. The moon is rotating and revolving around the earth at the same time the earth is rotating on its own axis. And you can see from that diagram the way the earth is rotating and revolving around the sun why and why moon is ro is also rotating around the earth eclipse and its types an eclipse occur when the shadow of a planet or satellite falls on another planet or satellite on earth we do observe two types of eclipse which are solar eclipse that is this it it is it occurs when the moon comes between the earth and the sun and you recall that we've said that moon is one of the satellites why earth is one of the planets you get it now so it's this solar eclipse occur when the moon comes between the earth and the sun Lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipse occur when the Earth comes between the Sun and the Moon. So you can, I think you can differentiate between the two now. Let's proceed. Season. A season can be defined as the division of the year marked by changes in weather, ecology, and the amount of daylight. On Earth, we experience four different types of seasons. We have winter, which is the coast, coldest period of the year. We have spring, which is a bit warmer. And we have summer, which is the warmest, warmest period of the year. And it's usually between June to August in the, north, in the northern hemisphere, northern hemisphere, while it is December to February in the southern hemisphere. And the fourth uh, season that we have is autumn which it is which is characterized by the fall of trees falling of tree leaves 
and it occurs between September to November every year. Note that in tropical countries such as Nigeria, seasons are not dramatic as in countries closer to the poles. That is, I mean, we don't have uh, a dramatic season like up to this four aforementioned uh, season period. We only usually experience dry and wet season, that is raining and dry season. The reason being that you can see from that particular diagram that you are looking at, all those regions whereby we have light uh, greenish, green, uh, yellowish greenish, uh, yellow uh, regions, they are the place that we normally call equator. And the upper part, which is green, greenish in color, all those countries that we found there, they, we normally call them, they are the one that they fall between northern and northern hemisphere. While those that are in the uh, down part, that is the southern part, they are the southern hemisphere. And those two regions, that is, they are the one that is close to the poles. So they are the one that usually experience that particular uh, four season in a year. While those in the equator, they experience majorly two or more season, which are dry and wet season. Reason for variation in season. One, the rotation of the earth around the sun in a year and the fact that Earth is perpendicular in relation to the sun, but in but in inclined at twenty three point five degree. Summary of our discussion: Solar system is a gravitationally bound system of the sun and the objects that orbit the sun, and we divide. We said the system consists of the sun, the planet, the satellites and other heavenly bodies, such as asteroid, comets, etc. We also said that we experience two main eclipses on the Earth, that is, solar and lunar eclipses. eclipses. We also said that season is a division in a year that is marked by changes in weather and we have winter, spring, summer and autumn as the four season within each year. Before we go, let's look at this assignment, Divine Solar System. Number two, state the three important substances that support life on the earth and state their uses. Thank you for listening. See you in the next class.